Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 8 of Direwolf20's Let's Play. As you can see, just logging in today, uh, like I said at the end of last episode, uh, I need to do a couple of things before we really, uh, well there's a bunch of stuff to do for today's episode. There's a creeper creeping over there. Let's pop into our uh, Thaumcraft room in here and see how things are doing. I don't believe I'm researching anything at the moment, so I'm going to grab out of my miner's backpack. I think I had a stack... Not miners, diggers. Yeah, that's what I meant. A stack of cobblestone. Perfect. I'm uh, going to go ahead and throw that in there and let the research happen and see if I get anything lucky. Uh, there's a couple other things that I'd really like to get researching on, but for now, uh, that stack of cobble will do me nicely. Uh, there's a machine I want to build, and I do need to get to the nether this episode for sure. And hey, what's up, Slimer dude? Coming at me, huh? Got nothing. Poor little slimes. There are bigger varieties of those, by the way, I believe. So uh, how about I get situated here, figure out where I want to build this machine because uh, it's big and that's uh, going to have to be somewhere not inside this house. So I'll be back once I figure that part out. All right, I've came up with a conclusion on where I want to build this thing. I want to build it right through this wall. Hmm, stuff's in the way. Uh, I'm going to have to relocate these chests. If I was further along, I might do something fancy with frames, but it would probably be just as quick and a lot lot less complicated and a lot easier just to uh, grab the items out of the chests and move them manually. And that's what I'm going to do right now off camera. So I'll be back in a minute once I've relocated all these chests. All right, much cleaner looking. Uh, what I also considered as a result of this is now I can have chests lining both walls of this room. So this might be a pretty nice storage room in the near future. I kind of like the way this turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. So anyway, you can see I have a little piece of cobble here. Looks like it's getting dark out, so I should sleep through the night. But that's where I'm going to branch out and uh, start building more stuff in that direction. Uh, what do I want to build out there? Good question. Let's see. I hope I have all the resources I need for what I need to build. If not, I'm going to have to go and uh, figure that out. So for now, what I need to start with, uh, I believe I've got some in here, bricks. Cool. And sand. Is that all the sand I have, really? Are you seriously? Alright, let me go get some more sand. Uh, could have sworn I had more than that, but I think I cooked it all into glass. So I'm going to have to go find some more sand. Not that that's going to be hard. And uh, from there, I'm just going to dig off and build all in that direction. And uh, we'll see what we wind up with. But first, sand. Now, if memory serves me correctly, as I'm coming around from all my rubber trees and just running around the edge of this island here, there's a nice big old desert off in this direction, isn't there? Could have sworn there was. Uh, maybe I'm making that up. No, that looks desertish. Uh, so yeah, lots of sand right there. That's where I'm going to be getting all of it from. So like I said, back in a few minutes, maybe I could even... Uh... Oh yeah, look at that. Sweet. Perfect. Come to me, sand. Alright, I'll be back in a few minutes once I've collected a silly amount of sand. Well, yeah, looks like I used a noticeably large amount of durability on the shovel, but it did help me to quickly get a whole bunch of this stuff. So lots of sand, very cool. I might want to pop off in this direction real quick just to explore a little bit. Can I get a... Yeah, I can. Sweet. Got a little portal gun. Makes for some easy travel. Uh, I wanted to see if there was anything interesting to look at over here. Now, yeah, I'm running around in a desert and all that good stuff. Uh, looks like we've got some of these uh, cinder pearl things. That's cool. And this is the other nice part. Ooh, nice. A little lava lake over here. A little oasis. This might not be a bad place to build something at some point in the future. Pretty cool. And I know I say that every Let's Play. I'm going to build something over here, and then sometimes don't. But hey, oil. Nice. From Buildcraft. Uh, I'll get to build craft stuff in the relatively near future. Not terribly soon. Ooh, look at this. A nice little plains area over here. That's kind of nice. I just want to do a little exploring in this world for a minute. Now that I've got the portal gun and the wireless remote, which will easily and quickly get me back home, it's, uh, you know, not too scary to go off exploring because it's pretty easy to find your way back home. So that's what I'm not afraid to do right now. Oh, I hear some zombies. Getting a little touch of lag as the world starts to generate around me, but not that big a deal. You know, let me uh, just poke around a little bit here. A nice little uh, bit of marble as well. Cool. I should mine up some marble at some point in the near future because uh, marble is nice. It's uh, really good building material. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do that in the near future. Maybe come back and mine some of that up. Not too shabby. 
and a cool looking little forest over here. All right, I just want to do a little exploring in this world for a few minutes. If I come across anything really interesting, there is something I'm kind of looking for, but uh, you know, if I find it, great. If not, you know, I'll be back in a minute to start building out in that area I was talking about. Ooh, I've got cows. What's up, cows? I might want to do something about you existing over here. Cows, I did say something about wanting to breed cows, didn't I? Hmm. All right, I got an idea. Let's go take this guy here. Pop on home. And do something like this. If I can build this thing up here. There we go. Made my way back to the area that I found cows in. And now check this out. With the gravity gun, one of the cool effects you can do is press G to pick up a block. How awesome is that? And G again to place it back down. Not all blocks can be picked up, but many of them can. Um, but you can also pick up animals. And if I pop through here, and you have to kind of go backwards through the portal, but very good way to, uh, you know, deliver animals to your pen. Which is good, because uh, I need more animals to feed off of. Wahahaha. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, actually get through here a little bit. And your game, of course, will lag a little bit while you're doing stuff like opening portals. Cause... See? And that's another good way to do it. Just drop a portal on his feet and he'll fall right through. So I'm going to collect a few cows. Not a bad proposition. Definitely better than having to, uh, you know, lead them back with wheat. Come on, buddy. Fall on a portal somewhere. There you go. Awesome. All right, I will be back in a few minutes once I've collected another cow or two, and uh, maybe in case I find something cool worth showing you guys. Ooh, I see something in the distance that's cool and worth showing you guys. Let's run over here and see what I've got. This is a Thomcraft obelisk in the distance, it would appear. Uh, these things are really neat, and I want to show you what they look like. Ooh, pretty. The obelisk here just floats, and it's an object of wonder. It's a little sneaky and scary, and, uh, you know, not many people know what it's all about. I will get to what this is about in a future episode of the Let's Play, but I don't have the items that are required at the moment to get in here. A couple people who do know how to uh, activate this obelisk might be saying, Oh, Direwolf, you probably do. Well, I probably do. There is a uh, random guess way of getting into this thing, but I'm not going to spoil it just yet for you guys. Um, the proper way to get inside, I don't know if many people are aware of. So I will come back to this obelisk in a future episode and properly get inside there. Uh, but for now, I'm going to note the coordinates. Cool. All right. I'll be back. All right. Looks like I found a pretty nice group of animals. Hey, guys. How's it going? Uh, I need to eat. I'm really low on food. Come on, guys. What are you doing? You're killing me here. That's a little better. Just thinning out the herd. Don't mind me. What do I have? Two more cows? If I kill this one, I'll be all right? Yeah, nice. How about I collect some of this wheat that I've got here? And at some point pretty soon, I should probably look into the whole industrial craft farming thing because it's a little bit better to collect uh, wheat and whatnot with. And, uh, you can really get some pretty cool crops with industrial craft, but like I said, I'll get to that pretty soon, not just yet. The main purpose of this wheat right now is breeding. So let's take care of that. Hey, you get back here. I do not let chickens out of the coop. Hey, there we go. Got him back. That's right. Everybody's hungry. I know. Calm down, guys. Calm down. There you go. Do your uh, business and make me more animals to eat. Thank you. Now get out of the way. All right. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. So uh, I want to go ahead and build out a little walkway to get out of this area. And uh, I think this is going to actually be like an outside my house type place. Uh, that I want to build out to here. So I'm going to build a little pier coming off the side of my house and uh, I'm going to need more of this basalt, the smooth stone stuff. So I'll probably have to go uh, throw some into a uh, 
cooker in a minute there, but for now I think we're all right. Uh, there is one other thing I might want to do, maybe perhaps per chance, when I look into the resources required for it, because um, I'm going to need to cook things a little bit faster than I have been as of late. So I'll be back in a minute once I've uh, researched a few things. All right, guys, so cooking is becoming an issue for me. Uh, things cook too slowly. I think it's time to make an induction furnace, and for that, I'm going to need a few pieces of smooth stone. I know that for sure, at least around six. I know I had two in there, but that's okay. I've got enough clay for now, uh, so I'll just throw this clay away for this time being. Uh, what I want to do is get myself a compressor, and a compressor looks like this. Ta-da! Compressor. So a machine block and an electronic circuit. So I'm going to need uh, just a few things here. Let's get from our mod items chest. I've got a few copper cables laying around. That's a good thing. Um, I'm going to need some refined iron. At least nine of them. And I'm going to need, I know for a fact, eight more and then three more as well. So, yep, about 20 refined iron in the end there. I am will also need uh, about three pieces of bronze, some tin, uh, and I'm going to need to macerate up a few pieces of coal. I want to say about 16 pieces of coal to be macerated. Quite a few components going into what I'm about to make, but no biggie. Let's first get our compressor going. Uh, now the compressor, like I said, um, I'm going to need some refined iron, so I'll be back once it's done cooking. All right, so let's see if I've managed to uh, pull this off without forgetting any ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and throw together a electronic circuit and a machine block, of course, as you guys saw in the recipe there, and do something like this. Now, the compressor is used for compressing blocks. It really doesn't have a purpose outside of um, what it was originally designed for. Uh, that didn't make any sense, what I just said, did it? Uh, its main purpose, it doesn't have a purpose outside of making other blocks for you that are used in the components of other machines. So I'm putting this guy down here at the end. Um, you know, a little bit silly, but I'm going to expand this area in the future, so I'm just planning ahead for that expansion. Um, the compressor will compress certain types of items. And one of the items I'm going to compress here goes along something like this. I think it's, uh, actually, I think the refined iron goes on the bottom with bronze in the middle and tin along the top. Nope, I had it backwards again. There we go. Mixed metal ingots. These are a item available in industrial craft. And you can see the compressor here will compress the mixed metal ingots into a specific type of item. Meanwhile, I'm going to run over here to my macerator. It looks like it has a few more pieces of work to do. I'll let that guy finish off. And uh, I'm also going to grab over here, and I'm going to have to sleep through the night again. I'm never going to get to build this little area outside, am I? No, probably not. Uh, advanced alloy. There we go. So the first mixed metal ingot got compressed down to an advanced alloy. This thing has a lot of uses in industrial craft, uh, specifically for making an advanced machine block, which is what I'm about to make, but it also has a lot of purposes in nuclear reactors, which we'll definitely get to much further on in the series. Hooray. So uh, two advanced alloys, and how's my macerator doing? One minute. All right, so there we go. Uh, just going to put these guys in a crafting table like so. If you put your coal dust in a crafting table in a square here, you'll get raw carbon fibers. And two raw carbon fibers in a crafting table will get you raw carbon mesh. So for 16 pieces of coal, we got the two raw carbon mesh that we need here. And again, that goes in a compressor, and it'll get you the carbon plates that you need to make an advanced machine block. So we'll just wait a minute here for our compressor to process, and we'll be right back. There we go. Just wrapping up the carbon plate. Thank you much. And uh, let's put together another machine block. There we go. And in the crafting table with the machine block go the advanced alloys and the carbon plate. That gives us an advanced machine block. Now advanced machine blocks are used for some of the more advanced machines in industrial craft. Specifically, the one I'm looking to get is the induction furnace. Now that's better than the electronic furnace. So I just picked up my electronic furnace with my wrench, and I'm going to place it in a crafting table with some copper, and that will get us going. So let's see, copper here, looking good. Let's craft up an advanced machine block with an electric furnace, and a bunch of copper all around it. 
This gets you the induction furnace, which is the next tier of uh, cooking things. So let's go ahead and place that down right like so. And you'll see its internal capacitor fill up pretty quickly. Now the induction furnace is one of those machines that can accept a medium voltage current. So if I was hooking up the induction furnace here by itself, I wouldn't need this low voltage transformer. But it's okay to have it there because I do need to, uh, you know, reduce the voltage of all the other blocks along here. So my induction furnace is neat. It operates on a heat-based uh, system where you place an item in and it's very slow to cook that item up at first. Note that the progress bar hasn't even started moving. Um, the induction furnace is just going to slowly cook that thing up. But as the heat level builds up, it's going to go ahead and cook faster and faster and faster. Um, the induction furnace also uses noticeably more energy from the original uh, electric furnace. I want to say the old electric furnace used about four or five energy units per tick, and the induction furnace uses 16. Uh, you can see now when it stops heating things up, it loses its heat, so it's going to slow back down. But a very cool trick to do would be to get yourself um, something that emits a redstone signal. I'm going to get a lever. Perfect. Uh, nice and cheap item here. By applying a redstone signal to your induction furnace, you're going to keep the energy going inside this thing. So, shift click to place a lever on it, and uh, now activate the lever. And note that the induction furnace turns on and it starts building up heat. Awesome. Uh, so with the heat level building, I'll be back in a few minutes once it's heated up to a sufficient amount. So I've got the heat level here up to about 30%, so we're a little shy of about a third, somewhere between a quarter and a third of the maximum speed of this induction furnace. If I throw a piece of basalt cobblestone in there, look how quickly it cooks. Awesome. Now you might have noticed there's actually two slots here and two output slots. What's the deal with that? Well, you can place two items in there at the same time, and it'll cook them both at the same time. Awesome. Wait till you see this thing at 100%. While we're waiting for this thing to heat up, uh, about 50%, not bad. Uh, I'm going to start making some items down in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is get something like this. Yeah, that looks not too bad. I need some coke oven bricks. And I think the number of coke oven bricks that I need is 26. That's why I put 26 bricks there. Cool. Um, but going to need a few more of them. So there we go, 26. Perfect. So let's clean up our sand and whatnot. Now, coke oven bricks come from Railcraft, which I haven't spoken a little bit much about. Uh, there's, I don't even know if I mentioned it at all yet, except for the fact that I'm using it. Railcraft has a bunch of cool items in it, and uh, it's all about affecting railways. And what was that outside? Did I see something, or was that just graphical glitching? Uh, so there's a whole bunch of different rails and uh, all kinds of crazy stuff. Let me open up here and just type in rail, and look what's in NEI with the word rail. Um, Quite a few. Uh, you know what they're called? Tracks now. Oh yeah, there we go. Quite a few tracks. <laughs> Craziness, right? Uh, there's all kinds of cool tracks that you can make, and I'm going to try and build some cool railways in this Let's Play series, um, but there's definitely cool stuff to be done with them. Uh, this guy's up to about 60%, so I'm going to let it start cooking. You can see this is at the 60% uh, speed. Pretty darn quick. Wait till you see it at 100%. This little progress bar zips along really fast. Um, so I'll be back in a minute once I've cooked up a few pieces of basalt that I can use uh, kind of in my entry exit way here. So uh, like I said, I want to build a coke oven probably around in this area. I might keep it like an exterior outside structure. I won't build it inside my main house. I don't think I've ever done anything like that in a previous Let's Play, so neat. Uh, I'm going to collect the little bit of basalt that I've collected so far and uh, start building out here. I want to just build a nice platform to work off of. So what I'm thinking is maybe something like this. Now, get off there. I do miss the ability to fly. Yeah, that doesn't look half bad. Maybe a little bit wider here because I know that this needs to be like I want to say a 3x3 three three structure on the on the base. And a coke oven you actually have to build in-game somewhat. Um, it's a neat little device. I'll show you how to build it right now. All you got to do is build a 3x3x3 three by three by three brick structure with these coke oven bricks that we just made. So 3x3. Three three. And you want to leave the interior spot empty. So that's like where the oven is going to keep things hot. And by building up like this, once you place the last block, it should update within a second or two here. There we go. 
the uh, coke oven is now active and all you gotta do is throw in some coal and uh, let's see what we got in here. I got some coal, I know. Oh boy, I've only got a little bit. All right, well, I'll throw at least half a stack in the Coke oven here and, uh, you know, let it start cooking up. Now, the Coke oven is going to turn on. Awesome. And it's going to start cooking that coal. It's a pretty slow process, which is the reason I'm starting this now. And I'll show you what the output of it is in a bit. But uh, pretty much what you're looking at getting is uh, some material used for some railcraft machines in the future, which is definitely useful. And then you get this other material called um, coal coke. And coal coke actually is um, twice as efficient as regular coal. So you pretty much uh, get this cool stuff that you can put in furnaces that's pretty much a lot more efficient. And I'm pretty sure you can use it in a generator. You used to be able to. I don't know if that's been changed or not. I'm going to go ahead and assume it hasn't been changed. Uh, so what I'm going to do for now is maybe build a little railway around here just so I don't fall off into the water. Uh, do I have any fences still? I might have some in my miscellaneous junk category. Eh... Uh, these fences are all right looking, but I might like want something cooler. Let me see. I'm pretty sure there's some mod that I've got here that can add like some kind of cool like siding. Hang on a sec. All right. I don't know. I might be getting a little silly at this point, but uh, I want to build something that will look interesting. Hopefully it's going to look nice. Um, everybody always yells at me for not making things that look nice. So what the heck? I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to need uh, some stuff. I'm going to need some wood. I should have some wood in here. Oh yeah, plenty. Alright, let's get crafting, huh? Alright, uh, I need to craft for myself. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Four pistons. Hooray! And I believe I need a crafting table in the middle of those four pistons with some iron ingots all around the sides. And that's going to get me a rolling machine. A rolling machine is kind of a more advanced crafting table. For now, I'm just going to stick it in this corner. Um, but it's basically a crafting table that's specific to railcraft. And it causes you to make a whole bunch of cool stuff. I'm going to go cook up some iron ingots into some refined iron. There's a couple different ways to make what I'm about to make, but using refined iron is the most efficient. And I get to show you guys what the uh, induction furnace looks like when fully powered up at 100%. Um, if I craft something like this, I get what's called a metal post. And uh, maybe the wiki is a little outdated. I thought I'd get more than that, but okay. 20 of them should be good for now. And I can craft with my metal posts here and some ink sacks in a regular old normal crafting table. I can go ahead and do something like this. And get myself some black metal posts. Let's see how this thing looks before I decide for sure if I want to do this. Oh yeah, look at that. How cool. I like it. Looks like I'm going to need a few more of these, and there's a bunch of different colors of these metal posts you can get, um, and they look cool as you build them up, but uh, I think that looks pretty neat, huh? Not bad, right? Come out here, go check on my coke oven. It's this big outside structure. There's another one or two structures that are like this that I'll have to craft in the future, and they'll be expanded on either side here. I'm kind of thinking ahead, but let me craft up just another set of those, uh, and I'm running low on iron, but I think I can use copper for this. Might not be a bad idea, considering where I am with copper. Nope, can't use copper. Maybe it's bronze I can use. So, get some tin out of my rare stuff inventory. And craft up a couple pieces of bronze. There we go. Can I do this with bronze? Hey, yeah, there we go. Some metal posts. So you can see using bronze, I got less of them than if I had gone ahead and just used um, iron. But, you know, iron, low on. Bronze, tons of. Makes sense. Uh, and I'll craft up another set of 16 of the black ones with my ink sacks. Cool. And it's getting a little dark out, so no biggie, but I want to see how this thing functions with uh, these rails on either side here. And I'm going to try and put, like, torches around and kind of make this look kind of cool. Doing my best, guys. You know, not Mr. Terrible, you know, good looks type of thing, but I think that'll keep monsters away and, uh, you know, bright enough that they won't spawn out here. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Maybe even put a torch or two on top, just in case they could spawn up there. I doubt they could, but... 
And most machines, if you uh, right-click on them and they have an interface, you can shift right-click and not worry about the interface. Speaking of, uh, I've got some coal coke, so let's try testing that in my uh, generator over there. And I've got this creosote oil, which is used for some more railcraft stuff in the future. Um, so I shouldn't have any concerns about having this back door entrance here, right? Um, I don't see any reason to put a door or anything here to prevent enemies from getting inside my house because they shouldn't be able to spawn on this walkway, especially with those, uh, you know, things there. And oh nice, it's raining. But uh, let's try this. How's my energy supply? Not bad. I'm going to throw a piece of coal coke in there. Oh yeah, look at that. And I believe coal coke lasts twice as long as coal. So you're going to get twice as much energy units out of it um, in a generator. Awesome. I'm going to throw it in my rare stuff chest. Why not? I'm going to have to build some more chests in the future, and this can go in here for now. Alright, I'll be back in a few. Alright, next up I want to swing by my Thalmcraft room. I'm going to get out my portable hole here, just to get in there. And uh, I'm probably going to need to go mining in between this episode and next. As you guys saw, really low on iron, but I did get a fragment of lost knowledge. Awesome. Uh, let's see, come on, give me some good luck. Aw, oh, sad face. One thing I do want to try researching, by the way, I believe if I research some zombie brains, uh, there's a cool thing you can get. So let me throw that in there and see what kind of success rate I can have. 23%? Not bad. Come on, zombie brains. If I don't have any luck with the first few, I might want to throw some items in there to help it out. Nope, no luck thus far. Well, that wasn't a loss, but it wasn't a success either, it would seem. Hey, there we go. Fragment of Forbidden Knowledge. Nice. Now, what's the chance on this? Only 28%? Yeah, maybe I want to get something to boost that. Hang on, let me see what I can find. I want to see how Lapis does on uh, boosting. And uh, maybe even Cinnabar. Well, I don't have much of that, so I don't really want to do that. But maybe Lapis. I'm going to grab a couple of crystals as well, maybe to research. Might not be bad. And glowstone. Yeah, I've got a ton of that stuff. I wonder how that does for researching. So if I throw some glowstone in here and I research this guy, what's my percent chance? 30%? Not bad, but let's see what happens with uh, lapis. 30%, just as much. All right, let's see. How'd I do? Come on. Hooray! Dark infuser? Cool. Let's research that guy and see what he's all about. I'll be back in a few once, uh, and it's an easy research, so it should be quick. There we go. Dark Infuser, huh? What's this guy all about? All right. Ooh, complicated little device. The Dark Infuser works similar to the normal Infuser, except it's used to create objects of more malevolent nature. Uh, cool. Uh, requires some tainted beasts. Cool. Dark Infuser. Nice. I'm excited by that research. Totally. So put all this stuff in here. And at this point, I think I've got enough to make something that I really want to make. So what I'm going to do is grab some of these sugar canes here, convert them into paper, which I'll then convert into a book. And by closing my portal, because it causes a little bit of lag, if I take the four discoveries I've made so far, throw them in a crafting table, let's say, with a book. One, two, three, four. I've got the Thaumonomicon. Woohoo! This is a really cool little guy. Check him out. If I right click here, you can see um, all the different items you found sorted by the type of uh, item that they are. So there's four types of research available in Thaumcraft. Um, the first type is lost items, and they're just like these cool, neat little items that I've found so far. So the Thaumic Enchanter, the Shovel of Renewal, that kind of stuff. And you can see there's a lot more that I haven't researched or found just yet. There's 28 pages of lost research to do. Cool. And Forbidden Research, there's seven pages of it. I already discovered the Dark Infuser and the Wand of Bone, but there's a few more to check out. Tainted research, I haven't found any of that. And Eldritch research, I haven't found any of that. So uh, 20 more items between the two there. So a lot of Thaumcraft research to do still. And I'm going to throw my Thaumonomicon back in there. But I can use that now instead of storing all those uh, little things that I found earlier. Let's research some more zombie brains while I'm here. And I'm going to throw some uh, dust into the table here because it seems to boost it up a lot. And I've got a lot of glowstone dust at the moment. So zombie brains, go. I've got about a 25% chance of success here, so hopefully with these zombie brains I'll be able to research something nice. 
crossing my fingers. Dun dun dun. And I'm gonna research these three earthen crystals as well. Ooh, what I get now? Ooh, brain in a jar. Nice. And it's a theory. Awesome. I went straight to the theory step, and I got the brain in a jar, which is actually what I was looking to get, believe it or not. Uh, brain in a jar is great. It works similar to the um, bookcases back here, but increases the speed and gives you a better success rate. So I can now store my zombie brains in jars and use them for better researching. Let me come back once I've finished up this moderate difficulty theory. And uh, you can see I skipped the second stage of research. That happens every now and then. It's rare, I think, but it does happen, so awesome. Hooray! Discovery brain in a jar. So that's the deal here. Ooh, I need uh, a brain. Makes sense. And some glass, soul sand, and a water bucket, huh? Well, I'm going to need to go get some soul sand. Why don't I go do that real quick before wrapping up this episode? Because uh, I want to craft at least one or two brains in a jar. Ha ha ha. Oh, wait. Wrong tool. Heh, <laughs> whoops. Noob. Do I have any glass on me? I do not. So I'm going to pop into the nether and get some soul sand. I'll be back in a second. Here we go, jumping into the nether. Uh, made sure to grab some glass while I was in my house so that when I get out of the nether, I can quickly take whatever soul sand I find and go craft this awesome thing. So again with the portal, just in case I have any problems. Uh, soul sand. Oh, nope, didn't have to go far for that now, did I? Heh <laughs> collecting a bit of it. I'm gonna just harvest a bit. Not a huge amount, um, but more than the two that I need. I'll be back in a second. All right, all done. Harvested up uh, about, mm, should probably be in my digger's backpack here. Yep, 21 soul sand, and even a piece of netherrack. Nice. I'm gonna go uh, bring that into my infuser and see if I can't get myself a brain in the jar. Or two, considering I have two brains on me at the moment. And then I might even research some crystals before the end of the episode, but eh, we'll see what happens. Wanted to pick up that egg. Back with the portable hole. I love this thing, by the way. Really do think it's a cool way to make a door. I mean, it just feels appropriate that I have to use that portable hole to get into my Thaumcraft area. All right, uh, yeah, where's that thing? Uh, this guy. I need a brain and a bucket of water, some soul sand. And what was that last piece? A piece of glass. That's it. Hmm. All right. Thaumonomicon, tell me what's up. Am I doing something wrong here? Was this forbidden knowledge? It was. 33 Vs and 16 Taint. So you know what's possible is I might need to do this with one of these guys. Let me craft up a Dark Infuser and see if that's required. I'll be back when I have the resources for it. Or you know what? As a matter of fact, I'm not going to be back when I have the resources for it because I'm pretty sure I need some Obsidian and I believe I'm completely out of that stuff at the moment. So I think this is probably a good wrapping up point for Episode 8. I'm going to go mine for a little bit underground between this episode and next. Um, next episode, I'll probably come back and craft a couple cool items and try and get that brain and jar thing going on. Um, also going to try and keep an eye on this doorway here and make sure it doesn't cause me any problems. I'd like to get some more coal for cooking up in this coke oven. As you can see, it's pretty slow to process, but it, it is a pretty nice device. Um, so I'll clean up my inventory, go mine for a bit, and catch up with you guys next episode. Hope you've enjoyed episode 8. And this is Direwolf20 signing off. Take it easy.